Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about Tour Creator as well as the, this is the Ricoh Theta 360 degree camera. There's lots of different brands out there, but this is the one that I have a hold of. And this is a cheaper model, but it works well for classroom tours or tours that students want to make uh, if they want to make their own tours. Um, and so this is for still pictures that are 360 degrees and they're pretty reasonably priced. Um, and it's not something that every classroom needs. It's just something that maybe uh, a school purchases and then maybe teachers check that out and, and utilize that. But anyway, I'm going to talk about how do you do this so that way um, with the Rico Theta, what they want you to do is they want you to be able to use the app and upload your video, your pictures and your videos and all your content, all your media. And then what ends up happening is you have to have the app, you have to sign in, and it has to be connected to a mobile device. There's a lot of hurdles you have to jump through. So this video is really about how do you do this as a class, having 360 pictures. Maybe they go on a field trip and everyone needs to make a 360 tour of some sort, but you make the pictures available. Um, and so what you can do is you can just plug your 360 camera directly into your Chromebook, have the students do the same thing with the USB cable. So I'm gonna do that right now and have that ready to go. Actually, I won't pop that in quite yet, but I'm gonna have it sitting off to the side here. So that way we're ready. Um, and what I'm gonna do next is, is jump into Tour Creator and you go to vr.google.com slash Tour Creator. And I'm going to get started here with a new tour. And it's pretty simple to use. It's pretty cool. What you can do is you can add your 360 degree pictures. Uh, you can do multiple. You can search for some that exist as well. And then you can also add uh, essentially hotspots directly on those 360 pictures. And then the, that becomes your virtual tour, kind of like creating your own Google Expeditions. And all of these are uploadable into and usable in Google Expeditions as well. So really exciting stuff. I'm going to hit new tour here to get started and it gives me a chance to title it test with Rico. I don't, I'm not even sure if I'm spelling this right. Hold on a second. Yep. All right. And you can give a cover photo. Um, I might have an image. I don't have any images right now. That's okay. I'm just going to bypass all of that. I'm going to give it a test name here, test with 360 degree camera. And I can give a category. And for this one, uh, we'll just do tools and technology. And what I will do is I will come down here and hit create. And this is where it allows me to search specific locations and create my own. But right here is an upload button. So when I hit this upload button and I hit select 360 degree image, what it's going to do is it's going to pop up with my Google Drive and or my downloads, I should say, I'm going to plug in this 360 degree camera directly into my Chromebook. And what will happen is it will open up the file explorer here in a second. I don't need this one. What I can do is I can go down here in the previous file explorer that I already opened and click on Rico Theta SC there, find my 360 degree pictures that I want to use. And I just have one on here right now. And I will hit open. And there we go. There's my picture. I can upload it and I can hit add. And now I'm in. So now I'm able to title this scene, give it a location, give credits. Don't have to fill out all these things unless you want to. Some cool things that they have allowed you to do also is to add narration as well as an audio track. So keep that in mind. Those are things that you can add. And then you add points of interest. This is what I was talking about with, with essentially hotspots on your screen. And so I will call this monitors and you can add nar narration to this. If I want to, I could add an additional picture image overlay, which is kind of fun. But just keep in mind that anytime you want to add any narration, you have to have those files sitting on your Chromebook or your device somewhere. All right, I'm going to describe this point and I can add another point of interest here. Let me hit add a point of interest. I can move this dot wherever I want. Add my information there and now I have this scene done. Now, if I want to do 
additional scenes and upload more pictures, I would just hit add scene and I can use the street view or I could hit upload and upload straight from this 360 degree camera like I had just done a second ago. And so that's what I primarily wanted to show you. I'll go ahead and just add a street view photo so that way you know how to use it. What it'll do is it'll pull up Google Maps over here. And then what I'm able to do is drop the street view man wherever I want to drop them like so. And it's going to give me this 360 degree picture. I'm going to turn it around here. I'm going to use the touch screen. It's kind of nice how you can do that. And when I have it, I'm going to hit add scene. Hit set starting view. And now that way that is my starting view. And I'm going to start facing the school like so. Save. There we go. That's my new start starting view. Change the title here. This is where you can add narration and other information. And again, you can add your voice. Uh, you can add audio tracks to the background. And I can add points of interest. And then once I'm done, I can go back to the main screen. I can find my little tour here that I've been working on and I can revisit it at any time. Right now this does not have a cover photo. It does require a cover photo if you are going to publish the work. So I probably should go ahead and just include a photo. I know none of these really match, but I'm going to go ahead and select just this one for the cover. And now I'm good. I'm going to hit publish. And then you have some options here. You can choose whether it is unlisted or public. I'm going to choose this one as unlisted because I don't necessarily want to clog up the internet with more garbage. And then I'm able to share this out uh, by copying this link right here. And here's my tour. So as I am moving about this screen here, I'm able to tap on the points of interest like so. This is my monitor. And then I'm shocked by how awesome Tour Creator is. And then if I want to go to the next screen, there is scene one of two, and then I can go to two of two. I'm able to see the point of interest here when I click on it. it shows me the information. I say main entrance there. And so yeah, that's a little bit about Tour Creator. I think it's an awesome opportunity and using the Ricoh Theta 360 degree camera. Hope you enjoy.